Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading for March 18th through the 24th. I'm going to be taking a look at your immediate past, present, and future, pulling some advice for you as well as the outcome. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past, present, or currently in your future. Roles can be reversed, so take what applies to you, the person on your mind, your situation, and leave the rest. At the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Mind Info Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Show me Gemini for March 18th through the 24th, please. Okay. Ooh, I love this. Okay, so Gemini, what I see right away in your reading is you are all about your financial stability, your stability in life, where things are taking you. You just want to be comfortable and, you know, excel. And I do see some really great things. Now, I also see a relationship here as well. I'm not going to lie, but let's just start with what is in the past that you're leaving behind or moving on from uh, the Wheel of Fortune. So there are some great things that happened in the past, you know, um, blessings things that came in, things that were presented to you, like you following your destiny or the universe playing a part and saying, here, I'm gifting you this at this time. So currently I like this. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. I do see that you are really working on your money. Um, and if it's not just money, if it's a relationship, things are going in the right direction here with that Knight of Pentacles. Um, you're feeling really confident in that everything that you're doing is leading you to something better. Okay, so in your immediate future, I do have the 10 of wands that comes out. This is presenting as, you know, you taking on a lot more responsibility. So coming up in the immediate future, what you're trying to achieve here is going to lead to a lot more uh, responsibility. And it's also going to feel like you are carrying a lot of this weight all on your own. Maybe you don't like to hand off your work to other people, or you feel like I'm independent. I got it. I do this all on my own already. I'm good. Um, but it is preparing you for something bigger. Um, as well, because your advice coming out is the king of pentacles. Know that you are heading in the direction of progress, financial stability, um, as well as just comfortability. And some of you might even be preparing for retirement. I also see if things continue the way that they're going for you, the four of wands comes out. Some of you, it is a relationship, but I'm seeing a lot of strong foundation, home strong foundation. So, you know, building relationships the way that you want them to thrive. Not only that, but also building that very strong foundation for yourself because the four of wands builds the strong foundation to your home and what you're trying to achieve here. Now, I see a beautiful relationship as well. So um, just take what would apply to you, your situation. And let's go ahead and start clarifying. We're going to start with this wheel of fortune. Wow. Okay. That is awesome. Okay. So in your immediate past, that wheel of fortune is clarified by the two of wands, the eight of cups, and then the 10 of pentacles. You made a plan for yourself in the past and walked away from some things that were no longer making you happy and heading in the direction of more, um, success commitments that are thriving, lasting, um, family traditions as well. Um, but you know, definitely that 10 of pentacles is showing me a lot of growth, a lot of success for you and building something for yourself. Your focus with that knight of swords is like, screw everything else that didn't work out because the moment you started to shift your, um, your energy towards what was important to you, that's when things started to just kind of unfold and it, felt really good that you left behind what um, you just didn't want anymore and heading in the direction that felt very good and felt very successful for yourself and building a lot of mo uh, money, financial stability, and just being very grounded, independent. 
let's go ahead and clarify the knight of pentacles some of you it's a relationship you know leaving one situation and heading in the direction of your own progress led you to better relationships as well so with this knight of pentacles um oh i see some jealousy from people be careful of those people um because currently in your situation where things are looking up for you with this Knight of Pentacles, you have people looking at you, things are going well, but you also have some people that are very negative in your energy um, that don't really care to see you succeed or they're just kind of envious. You know, maybe things aren't going the way that they want them to go in their lives, but if they put a lot of positivity into it and leaving the negative thoughts behind them and being happy for other people's progress, they're going to see a lot of... Um, growth in themselves but you do have some people who are just not good for your growth so just know that is in a circle or a friend group um, because I do see this six of wands right here where you're um, getting attention you're on stage shining makes somebody else very upset they don't like that they're talking all kinds of stuff to your face they will tell you oh you're so great you're so wonderful Gemini and behind your back that's when they're talking about you so be careful also temperance coming out here says only give what you're getting in this situation from this kind of person if you know who this is or you've feel that negativity from that person. Um, I'm seeing a lot of, I'm just going to be honest. I see right here. I do have uh, Sagittarius as well as uh, Leo energy that comes out. And um, at the bottom of the deck is the wheel of fortune. So I have a lot of Sagittarius placements and it could be that they're Sagittarius sun, moon rising, um, that they haven't, you know, but it just, it feels, it doesn't have to necessarily be a Sagittarius, but this person, whoever they are, be careful what you're giving to, because it creates like whatever you tell this person, they go and they share your information with others and they talk bad about you. So don't give to, um, the negative people or negative person that's trying to interfere with your growth okay because that wheel of fortune is also saying hey guess what things are going good for you be patient don't worry um also there's something about things moving a little slow for you even though it feels really good and it feels like growth is happening there is some inner conflict with but i'm having to wait even longer for things to get where i want them to go and i know you want things to move faster but just be patient is what you're being told because there's another blessing on its way and also be appreciative of the the blessings that you have right now so let's go ahead and clarify this 10 of wands for your immediate future okay so this 10 of wands is clarified by the page of swords three of wands and the knight of pentacles the bottom of the deck is going to be the five of wands okay so with all this responsibility that you're taking on or feeling this heavy weight moving forward in the immediate future um it's because you're learning some things here how to grow and progress moving forward make more money make better decisions um and you're sticking to your plan that's creating some conflict with somebody else some drama here they don't like that they don't have control over you um that's fine because you're trying to advance here so let's go ahead and clarify the king of pentacles for your advice Ooh, yeah be very careful okay so as you are excelling here with this king of pentacles which your advice is telling you you have everything you could possibly want or you're about to have it right and things are going very well and it's all because you stuck to your plan you um everything that you've done from beginning to end and not shortcutting has you progressing however we have the six of swords the justice card and the hangman there are some things that you're not going to want to look at like i don't know if i can stop talking to this person or if i can make that decision but your advice is saying if you want to have this king of pentacles if you want that financial stability growth and comfortability in your life then you're going to need to look at things that you want to move away from that are kind of in rocky waters and moving forward will balance things out for you but it is going to require you to reflect on what you need to remove and 
Um, that two of swords at the bottom of the deck is saying you might not want to look at this because sometimes it's hard to look at relationships or things that are holding us back. But if you look at this and make this decision that does feel difficult because it feels like you're at a crossroads with leaving it behind um, and moving forward without this person or from this situation, because um, there's just some changes that you're making is what I'm seeing um, that are good for your growth, but your advice is saying you need to really figure out how you're going to handle this and don't ignore it. Um, so let's go ahead and clarify the four of wands for your outcome. Things continue the way that they're going with this four of wands. Um, you are having the relationships that you want, the growth and commitment that you want, the stable foundation that you want. And ooh, Okay, so you won't even have to wait. Um, four of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and then also the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck is going to be the Nine of Wands. Yeah, if things continue the way that they're going and you accept the advice and, and heading in that direction, you're going to have a very strong foundation and get exactly what you want. Some of you, this is moving to a new place here. It's going to provide a lot of R&R &R rest and relaxation for you. Um, and then that seven of pentacles in reverse, no longer having to wait because things just really take off really fast for you. But there's also, you know, maybe leaving things behind feels a little hurtful. And I feel that whoever this person is, they're going to feel that you have left them behind what did i do but they're just not beneficial for your growth so let's go ahead and at least not at this time because of the negativity that they put into um your successes it's like oh i'm so proud of you gemini not really um because gemini's got this it must be so nice so don't let people be around you if they can't be happy for you All right, one more. Oh, did I flip over? No. Oh, you get two more. Okay, and I guess that's why we needed to wait for these to come out because these are very, very um, important. So surrender, it says you're being asked to let go of your need to control each part of your life and surrender to the universe. Control is an illusion and it's exhausting to try to hold on to it. Let it go and allow yourself to enjoy the relief that comes from doing so. Okay. And then we also have pay attention. Okay. And that pay attention says you're being asked to pay extra close attention to the signs you're being given both the subtle ones and the ones that can't be missed. These signs will help you see how to best move forward in order to live your best life, okay? And manifest, I love this. Uh, manifestation, we can think about things, but we also need to put in the work. And it says you're always manifesting whether you're aware of it or not. Manifestation is based on your thoughts and you're being asked to manifest consciously through positive thinking. So you'll attract into your life exactly what you're wanting. All right, so this is what I have for you. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.